Today, we are gonna be talking about plastic surgery, beauty standards, and weight loss. Oh my. <laughs> this girl a mess, y'all. Hi guys. Welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you've been around here a while. I'm Kendra, this is Kind Kendra Creates. This is where I share my life with you guys. I also do commentary on a variety of topics and anything you want me to discuss, please send me some stuff. I'd love to talk about it. And if that stuff sounds good to you, then make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Also go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Or if you're watching it and you find something interesting, intriguing, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Okay, guys, so I'm going to get begin this video on a somber note. And over the course of the last couple of days, I saw a lot of this situation in the news. So if you guys have not heard about this situation happening, there is a popular com comedian. His name is DC Young Fly. He got his start actually like on social media doing skits and stuff like that. But he's a comedian and He's been on Wild and Out, very popular, a celebrity. And his partner, his girlfriend, whatever you want to call her, mother of his children, her name is Miss Jackie O. That's what they call her. And she was like a popular Instagram model, influencer type person. And they had a family together and everything. And so she went down to Miami to get a mommy makeover. Like a lot of women do after they give birth and they feel, you know, a little bit insecure or uncomfortable about their bodies. Pretty standard. Well, unfortunately, she did pass away. And much condolences to her and her family in this time of their loss. I originally heard of her passing through plastic surgery groups. I am a part of a couple of different plastic surgery groups. And um, if you guys know or don't know, I've lost like basically just say 200 pounds, okay? <laughs> and it has left me with a large amount of loose skin all over my body and I feel very insecure about it and I don't like it and I want it gone. Eventually, I'll get there. But of course, you know, just researching and, you know, seeing about a doctor to do all of this stuff and, you know, recovery. I just want to know about it, the good, the bad, the ugly and everything. And of course, death is part of the risks of surgery, any surgery, because they're putting you under anesthesia and then the actual surgery that they're performing on you, there's a risk. And um, it hasn't been confirmed yet, like what caused her to pass away. People are just speculating that it was due to the mommy makeover surgery that she had um, in Miami. I just wanted to throw that out there saying that. And so when I heard about this, it got me to thinking, especially with a lot of the posts that I was seeing and a lot of the history um, behind it and everything. And first I wanted to address when she was initially posting and people were basically saying, don't do it, don't do it. You shouldn't be doing it. And they talked about all of the things that could go wrong and just basically a lot, a lot of negativity and a lot of just scary things, you know, are being said. And I just wanted to say that anything that you do, people are going to give you a lot of backlash for it, negative things, especially something as controversial as cosmetic surgery. And I feel like it's just become very controversial recently. And I'm just assuming because people have made it more popularized and a lot of people talk about it and how it affects our beauty standards and our perception of self and especially with younger people and younger girls um, looking on the internet and looking at these people and it's all an illusion because a lot of them have had plastic surgery. And now that she has passed away, a lot of people are talking about love yourself for who you are, accept your body, you shouldn't have to conform to beauty standards and this and that and that and this. And it's great. It's a great message. But I feel as though a lot of it is very performative, especially in plastic surgery groups. Like you're in a plastic surgery group for a reason. It's not just to like hang around. You're either like in the process of it. You've already had it done. You want more information. You want more research or you know someone 
who wants more research or information or whatever the case. And it got me to thinking, like, why? Why do we have to accept our body the way that it is? Why? If there's something that will change it and you want it changed, who's to say that you shouldn't change it? If you are well-versed in the risks, you know about the procedure, you know how things work, why? Why? And I know a lot of times people think it's like societal pressure or pressure from the media or pressure from the industries that they work in. The singer SZA, she recently came out and talked about she got a BBL. And a lot of people were basically saying how it was pressures from the industry or whatever. And she said, no, she just always wanted a bigger butt, which nothing is wrong with that. If that's what you want and you have the money to change it, I don't see a problem with it, honestly. I guess because I'm just more open minded about those things. I mean, I've never had like a nice looking body. So I would one day like to have a semi somewhat sort of nice looking body. I just want to know what it feels like. I just want to know what it looks like. And I want that aesthetic. And I've been very open about that, that my weight loss journey initially was about health, but now it's a combination of continued health, but also aesthetics and fitness. Um, And I think a lot of times people are very wary when they talk about their weight loss. They like to call it like a health journey or fitness journey or whatever. Just call it for what it is. You want to lose weight. It's a weight loss journey. It's not a big deal. But back to the subject of plastic surgery. I really feel like now people are saying, oh, love yourself, you know, accept yourself for how you are. And everyone doesn't feel that way. (laughs) Everyone is not going to feel that way. Everyone isn't required to feel that way. Like, I love myself. I just do not like my body. And especially with mothers, new mothers, anyone who's a mother, they know how their body has changed um, from being pregnant and carrying a child and giving birth. Um, and if your body hasn't changed, good good for you. <laughs> but for those of us who it has changed, especially those of us who are left with a separation in their abdominal muscles, diastasis recti, then... A muscle repair tummy tuck is pretty much the only way to fix that. There's no amount of diet, exercise, physical fitness, getting in the gym or whatever that's going to fix that. That's the same with my loose skin. There's no amount of lifting weights, lotions, potions, cardio, whatever is going to fix it. Surgery is the only thing that's going to fix it. I feel as though I've come a long way in my thoughts about myself and my body and accepting it a lot more because of the confidence that I've gained from being in the gym and lifting weights. But you will never see me in a two-piece somewhere on the beach. I would never. It's just not something I want to do. And I know that if I did have a tummy tuck, I would do that because I would feel more comfortable with myself. And I know that that's what fat acceptance wants people to do. They want people to just accept their body for how it is and be okay with it. And, you know, some people will just never be okay with how their body is. And is that so wrong? Is it wrong? Is it wrong? Is it wrong to want to change your body? Is it wrong to want to change your appearance and looks? I feel like there is a line that is drawn with that. It's okay if we do it by natural means, right? If we eat less, move more, if we want to lose weight, that's okay to change your body in that nature. But if you want to lose weight, it's not okay if you go get weight loss surgery or if you use a GLP-1 drug, that's not okay. Or for instance, changing your body composition, it's okay to get in a gym and do glute exercises if you want to grow your butt. But going to the doctor and getting a cosmetic procedure, something is wrong with that. And it's so funny because I always see about people like, I grew my butt naturally and all of this and all of that. 
And I'm like, okay, good for you. But some people like, they literally can't do that because they have no butt at all. And I got a little bit of butt back there, but it used to be like, but when you lose weight, you have no control over where your body loses weight from. It just loses it where it wants to. And for some reason, my body wants to lose it in the places that give me womanly curves, which I'm not feeling, but it is what it is. So I pose this question once again. Is it so bad not to be okay with your body? Is it okay to want to change the look of your body, whether that be through natural means, through cosmetic surgery, through diet, exercise, lifting weights, whatever. Is it a bad thing? And I think that's a very controversial topic. And it's so weird and wild to me because the same people that tell you to love yourself and, you know, be kind to yourself and accept your body the way that it is. Those same people that preach those things are also the same people that preach, you know, you should be healthy and you, you know, you should, you know, make sure that your health is first. But how can I be healthy if I'm not changing my body, right? For instance, if I'm dealing with body dysmorphia, I have an issue with the way that my body looks and I'm going to counseling and I'm seeing a therapist and I come to the realization that the only way that I get over this is that I actually transform my body into what I want it to be. So I pose this question yet again. Is this so wrong to not like the way that your body looks? Is it? I feel like there's nothing wrong with changing your body, changing your appearance to how you want it to be. Us ladies, we get weaves, we get lashes, we wear makeup, we get nails. We put on different types of clothing, all things to change our appearance, to make us feel better about ourselves. So why are we so against changing our bodies in a more drastic type of form, especially when that improves our mental health, our physical health and our overall well-being? I don't know, you guys. (laughs) I'm just coming with some thought provoking thoughts. And I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also check and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. I'd love to have you here. Also, make sure you continue to spread kindness in a world full of hate. I will see you on the next time. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Bye-bye.